Hello everyone, it's Seth. I'm back uh, with another video here. So let's just get right into it. So as you can see, the front end of the car is now lifted up and I have to take the end of the jack off. It just sticks out too far. People that know me know that I'll trip over anything. So I would have tripped over that a bunch by now if I would have left it the way it was. So we've got a different end of the car up. Uh, basically, I don't know, I think we left at the last video, we ended with the, the brake lines. I'm gonna go around. I have the heat on here. It's kind of noisy. Let me turn that off. I had the brake line situation there um, where I could get the line, but I'd have to put my own my own connection on the end there. And uh, okay, that'll be off in a minute. So I, I did uh, get the line, which is about the same length. It's a little bit longer and uh, got that underneath. And I actually could use both ends that came with it. I just had to um, just had to get a little adapter piece. So I don't know if we can really see anything here or not, but eh, I guess not. Anyway, but that's back together. We have new brake hoses on, the new lines are in. Everything's back together at this corner of the car and it's back down on the ground. Uh, so that's all good. I got everything bled out. And this has been what I've working on, been working on today. I'll get the light over here. I took apart the, the, uh, the front here to get ready for a couple things. So I have some, some uh, paint, some undercoating on here. But anyway, the, uh, got everything took apart, got the CV shaft out. Um, this is kind of the same as the other side. The only difference here is that we may have to do the inner tie rod end. That, that might have a little bit of play in it. I didn't really look at it, but uh, might have to do that. I'm doing the motor mount on this side, but the one that I ordered, and I specify that it was for the uh, you know, front, for the right hand side of the engine anyways, but uh, it doesn't fit. It's for the driver's side, so I'll have to, have to see if I can find one. It looks like the passenger side or right hand side mount, as it would be, is uh, a little bit more difficult to find. So I have that and I do have the caliper hanging by the hose. Uh, again, we're going to be replacing that. The caliper, the the seal here on the back is loose and it's all crusty. I haven't even cleaned it yet, but we'll see if we can repair that or rebuild it. It doesn't look like getting a new one's going to be an option. Apparently they changed the uh, the calipers for the 87 to, you know, the the, ran, the end of the range there, the end of the run. So these are a little bit different. Let's get that to stop swaying. Oh, this is interesting. That's the uh, the drain. So this is a drain, I guess, for the sunroof, and then you have this one here for the the uh, the AC, which is kind of funny because it, it looks like a piece of three quarter inch Schedule 40 PVC just kind of sticking out there, but it's rubber. So that's all stripped out, ready to go. I've got the hub on the other side there. I'll have a new bearing pressed in. I've got the engine lifted up right now, so I'll have to get um, a mount that I don't have. I'm going to have to have the hub pressed because I don't have a press to do that. And I'm still trying to source an inner driver to get that replaced. Uh, is it bad? I don't know. But with the mileage, I don't really want to put it back together and find out. I'd rather just do that now. Uh, so I need to do that and, and the caliper. So that's going on. So that's that's kind of the bulk of this. This is just opened up, ready to go. So I'm just, you know, it's good to be making progress on this stuff. I haven't really had so much time lately. Uh, we look under the hood, but there's nothing really changed there. I still need to work on the engine. I do have the fuel pumps in, so basically the, and pardon my mess, I just, no time. It's cold out, I'm not, I'm just not worried with it right now. I have to keep this project moving, uh, but I hate the mess. So the the situation with the pumps, so the, the original seller that I had bought the, the first pump from, uh, did, I, you know, I just sent a message, I think I, I just said, uh, the pump isn't here, it's been three weeks, what can we do, you know, and, and I guess, I guess they, you know, they just, whatever, they, they refunded my money, which is kind of nice. I've, I sell a bunch of stuff on eBay, and that's always what I would do, so just try to keep people happy. So they refunded me, and I ordered one, and uh, that one got, you know, ordered another one, I should say, and that got here two two days later, so everything's back together here. Uh, let's get some light in here. I did a vacuum all this out, wiped everything down, all nice and clean, and everything's back together. Eh, that's, eh, it's been wiped down, but could be wiped down better. It really, I guess it needs scrubbed with a brush. I don't have what I need for that. And I did learn here this, um, so there's of course the tool kit back here and the jack, the spare tire, but uh, that's actually, I, I, this was turned the other way. You know, it was turned like this when I got the car, but apparently that's a, uh, a bag to put the spare or the flat tire in if you have to change it. And that came from Saab. That's kind of cool. You know, I learned stuff all the time about this car. That was interesting. All right, so that's that's that. And again, everything's back together. I, this has some stains on it and stuff. To be honest, it's it's not perfect. But the thing is that these these corners here with the speakers and and this are you know they're they're faded and they're crusty. If I try to shampoo that, it's just going to come apart and look terrible. 
Yeah, look at that speaker grill. It just angers me. I, I put my elbow into it when I was working on this, on the headliner. So I have to de deal with that. Uh, that seat's not locked in. There it is. So that just that just irritates me. But I'll have to get new speakers in this anyway when we look at the stereo. But we're not there yet. This is all. So basically, this is just all cleaned back up again and back on the ground. Uh, just close that. Um, I don't know. Where do we look at? What do we look at next? Inside, I didn't really do too much. Uh, still haven't really cleaned up this door panel or this corner of the car, if you will. I uh, still haven't wiped down the dashboard or cleaned the windshield. Eh, I did kind of vacuum around the edges and stuff. Uh, so I still need to clean the console a bit. There's no light on this, uh, so it's kind of hard to see. But let's I gotta try to do this one-handed. But uh, the carpet's turned out really well. It looks terrible in this light, but you'll just have to trust me. It looks good. Um, it looks actually it looks actually looks really bad on camera. Wow, that's surprising. But no, that looks all nice and clean. I cleaned up the floor mats that 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 I have, and they look great as well. So I'm really impressed with that. I am going to have to get a mat for this one. And just find something that looks close and uh, cut it to size, and then take it to the carpet place and have them, you know, bind it or whatever they call that with the stuff around the edge. Yeah, so that's that. All back together there, uh, coming along good. Going forward with this, uh, as, as there's time, of course, I'm going to have to get this situation dealt with up here. Uh, what's left to get this on the road? Well, uh, this corner, obviously, again, uh, so we've got to do that. So the brakes, motor mount, and then figure out, you know, still, we've got to figure out why it's not running. With the new pumps in, it will run, but now it just runs kind of rough. It feels kind of like it's missing, so... You know, fingers crossed, maybe it's just found spark plugs or I don't know, something wrong with that, but hopefully nothing mechanical. I feel like it's not. If it ran okay before, now it won't. You know, that's, that's probably not mechanical. It's probably something else. Again, I just have junk everywhere. i got to go through this stuff. This is my pile of just junk that's been pulled off. i got more stuff outside the door there. Uh, and here's the hub. Um, let's turn that over. got to get this old ball joint out. But I'm not, again, I'm not doing that, so slide that aside there. Uh, let's see, what else is going on? I don't know. I've been driving the Impala lately. It's been cold out, and um, I don't know. It, it has remote start, so I like that. It's also just really comfortable. Maybe I'll make a video about that soon. But I've been driving that lately. The CLK, I did... Um, let's look on the other side here while we're waiting. The door didn't shut. The CLK, I did uh, did have to replace the control arms on that. They're pretty worn out. And I put in new sway bar um, bushings and, and end links. The end links were ripped ripped up. The boots were anyway. So, yeah, that looks there. That looks better. Yeah, nice and clean. So new end links on that. Uh, but uh, Oh, and again, the, the reason I did that, there was a little bit of a vibration at about 60 miles an hour. It would start at around, you know, 58 or so and then stop around 65. So just trying to trace that down. I replaced all that and no luck. It's still doing the same thing, but it's not quite as bad. I don't really care because I did it all myself. It wasn't too terribly expensive, but I'm going to have to now see if maybe there's a tire out of balance or if a wheel, I should say, or if, or if um, something's out of alignment. What else? Nothing with the 9.3. I had the 9.5 inspected the other day. It's all good to go. I didn't need anything, which kind of makes sense. I only drove it 1,400 miles. Of course, didn't need anything for inspection, but it's been pretty needy this year otherwise. More on that later. Uh, nothing with the old green 900 that's still sitting there for whatever. Got to work on that next. And that's about it as far as I know. I'm going to look at a BMW tomorrow with somebody else, see if we can buy that. Or, well, I, shoot, I was going to leave that as a surprise, but it is a BMW. It needs some work. Uh, we'll see if see what happens with that. So I guess I'll leave the surprise as to uh, you know which BMW it is, what year, what uh, what model it is. So anyway, thank you everybody for want, who you know watches and also subscribes. We're nearing 100 subscribers soon. That's that's really cool. That's uh, that means a lot more than you'll ever know. So I appreciate everybody for you know giving some interest to uh, what I'm doing here and everything. So that's much appreciated. And hopefully for the uh, for the hundredth video or not hundredth video, hundredth subscriber, I'll have a special video put together. Although it may not be something sob related so you know stay tuned more on that i have a couple ideas all right thanks for watching